I want to welcome you to Jackman Music's Minister Through Music series on choral conducting and choral singing. In this Minister Through Music series, I'm going to address some things that all of us struggle with as ward choir directors. My name is Roger Hale, and I know what it's like to not have a choir that is very big. I also know what it's like to not know exactly what to do when you come to rehearsal. We know that many of you are not professionals, but this series is going to help you learn the basics and help you learn how to make your ward choir experience. Thanks for joining me today. Hello, my name is Dr. Roger Hale. I am a choral musician. I teach conductors how to conduct music better and also teach singers how to sing better in the choirs I've conducted. I grew up as a musician, but not as a singer. And my mom wanted me to be in the ward choir so badly, but I would not. And I appreciate her now much more than I did then when I was a teenager. Later, she let me play the trumpet, play the piano instead. Well, later as a missionary in Argentina, I began to sing. And I found out the beauty of the human voice at that time. And I began to sing hymns and find out the power that the Spirit can come through through music or the power that music can bring into any setting. And so when I returned home from my mission, I was going to be a band music educator. And I was in the band, and a good man, the professor at the university I was at, he called me on a phone one night and said, hey, would you be interested in joining this choir after I had filled out a little survey after he visited one of my large lecture classes? Well, the rest was history. I sang, I went into that choir, and I began to sing and feel the power of vocal music the beautiful music that can come from the human voice. And I still love instrumental music, but that became my passion. Later in life, I began to be involved in church music and have served as ward choir director, ward music chairman, many times throughout my life. Currently, I serve as a bishop in a ward and feel very strongly that this kind of music can bless the lives of everybody in the ward. There are many people that don't think they sing because they've heard something from somebody, maybe a negative comment when they were younger, but those myths need to change. I currently teach a voice student over the internet that is a return missionary, a return senior missionary, who served in Africa with his wife, and he came back after singing a few musical numbers in Africa. And he found me on the internet and he said, I want to become perfect in this thing. And I, in, I jokingly said, well, there's always eternity. But he said, no, I want to become as perfect as I can. And he said, I know through the enabling power of Jesus Christ, I can become perfect in this thing. And he works so hard to achieve what we work on. Church music is not about the performance, but we want to give our very best. A phrase that I've always thought about or heard at one point, but I think about it often, is church music is to bless, not to impress. And as we have that as our main focus when we get up to worship the Lord, then the Spirit will take over and it will help the message of our music get to the hearts that need to be touched and opened. 